Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day and today is Friday the 30th and today was a lovely day outside. It got up to like 82 degrees, something like that. It's beautiful though, absolutely gorgeous. Um, got this morning, got a handful of things done, just kind of wedding prepping, all that fun stuff. Um, did some yard work, did a handful of different things around. Um, did go out and do some car shopping, still looking for another car we're going to add on to our fleet and all that fun stuff. Um, dealt with a few different dealerships. It's amazing how some of them just can't listen at all. Like you tell them what your budget is and they immediately show you a car that's $5,000 above your budget. Or you tell them, like the one guy I said, I'm looking for a convertible and he took me out and he goes, well, it's not exactly a convertible, but it's a target top, which is a Corvette. I like the target tops. I said, nope, not even close to a convertible. And then he walks me on down and he shows me a Chrysler like 300 with a really big sunroof. So it's just the same as a convertible almost. And I said, nope, not even as close to the convertible. I'm like, do you know what the word convertible means? Means? And he's like, well, these are the only two things we have. And I'm like, okay, then why did you walk me all the way across your you know, quarter mile long lot to look at these two cars? Where you could have said, I have a Target Top Corvette and a Sunroof Chrysler and go from there. And then as he's walking back, he goes, actually, I did get one in. I'd have to look at it, blah, blah. And he goes, it's a Chrysler Sebring. I'm like, I'm out. I'm like, nope. I said, two-seater convertible, you know, fun little car and whatnot. Um, they, another place that they had a, um, well, the classic retro Thunderbird supposedly coming in and he was, was supposed to be there within a couple hours, whatever it was being delivered to them. <clears throat> he was supposed to call me with the mileage, the um, year, the price, all that good stuff. And as soon as I got there, he said be there within two hours and didn't hear from him. It's been 24 hours now. Did not hear from him at all. So it is what it is. So I gave up on that one. Probably wasn't the car I wanted anyway, but I thought what the hell I'd give it a try and to see what, who knows what it might be. So went ahead, uh, went and found a little, um, actually I have a little, I guess a big a five series um, Beamer station wagon that um, I'm a big fan of. It has tan interior though, which I'm not a fan of, but it is what it is. So went ahead, uh, looked at it, took it for a drive. Nice car. I just don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, Hung around, had a couple other things get done. Um, got back to the house, went ahead and cleaned up um, Karen's car, gave it a good bath, um, got it all washed up, um, got my run in, got my shower, got all that done. Karen got home from work, we were talking about some random stuff, just little things here and there. Started kind of moving things around, getting things ready for the wedding, getting things prepped, making our list of things to do. And I decided we were going to go out and eat. Um, decided to hold it, decided to go out and grab a bite to eat, plus I wanted to drive her by and show her that um, Beamer station wagon and went and looked at it. And then also the car in the lot there, she liked a lot that we're going to try and look at maybe tomorrow. A little convertible two-seat Mercedes. Um, yeah, we'll see if that plays out or not. Well, who knows if it'll actually be something she wants or not. So went ahead from there, head over to Dustin's um, barbecue place. Um, amazing beans. Um, mediocre service at best. And the food was horrendous. Um, Karen eats there quite often. They cater things for him. Um, she goes there and gets food there a lot for work. And she says this is the worst she'd ever had. This was... The worst barbecue um, I've experienced where I had in my life in a restaurant. It was absolutely, the meat was all dry and hard and chewy and just gross. The uh, the fries were like those generic fries you used to get in high school. Like those crinkle cut fries that were like horrible. And I think they microwaved the damn thing. Like they were not fully cooked, but they were so hot you couldn't eat them for the first three minutes. Probably five minutes of the meal. I couldn't even put one in my mouth. They were so damn hot, but they were uncooked. They were like raw, but hot. Like I swear I think they microwaved the damn things worst damn experience i've ever had in a um in a barbecue restaurant in my life it was it was bad i would drive all the way over to porky's uh, and i would go to the original porky's and pay for my food as opposed to having free um replacement of this food again like it's, it was absolutely horrendous so very disappointed that um, we did a couple of things running around on the way home basically went from there um, got back here chill a little bit getting things ready i decided to go out and have myself a cigar outside and for some reason this cigar took for ever to smoke through it was so slow it's ridiculous delicious cigar i enjoyed it but it was so slow so we got back in we kind of just chatted a little bit hung out and basically just crashed out and called it a night she fell asleep on me we're gonna watch some netflix that tends to happen often so went ahead and wrapped it up and that's all i got for now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching